Okay, as promised, I'm going to continue the jigsaw uh, puzzle piece using uh, native gestures instead of the JavaScript uh, touch events. Um, so it's just similar uh, to before, set up for iPhone. Drag and drop. And just confirming there the touch events were deleted. Uh, it's still got the keyboard events, but there's no keyboard, so they will not be they will not be uh, used at all. So, um, so it's going to be jigsaw proto ones uh, got to be edited in. as the folder, so as before, and comment out the other line. So at the moment, uh, as long as there's been no error, that should run in the, in the simulator. and it runs in the simulator, but the ability to rotate this is now gone because that bit of code was deleted. So let's fix that now. So when I go to main storyboard and the procedure is, first of all, um, Having a look at the the hierarchy there, there's the, there's a the view which is the the view of the the view controller, and embedded in that is the web view. So the touch. What I found out was that the 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 the, the, the touch gesture recognizers, um, if applied directly to the web view, tends to interfere with the web view component, if you like, um, its interpretation of touch. So the solution is, is, is actually to go to the properties here and look under the section view interaction, user interaction, user interaction enabled, uncheck it on the web view, but make sure it's still checked on the view. So the touch gestures will be interpreted by the view, uh, which uh, which is the parent of the web view, and uh, that will work. And it means that the any any touch gestures, uh, any 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 touch interaction with the the UI web, web view or WebKit is 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 uh, now not going to not going to happen. That's going to be ignored. Um, so that's so that's the first step in order to uh, to do this effectively is to disable disable touch disable interaction on the web view, but make sure it's still enabled, which it would be by default on the on the enclosing view, and we're just going to use the standard built-in touch recognizers. So. These are actually in the uh, the UI here uh, designer, um, which is swipe gesture recognizer. Well, you could use any of these gestures, but I'm going to use probably swipe gesture recognizer to replicate the same functionality we had before. In other words, a swipe down is going to mean one thing and a swipe up is going to mean another thing. It's just going to be as simple as that. I'm not going to 
uh, go into more detail, you could obviously use any of these in different configurations. Um, so the swipe gesture recognizer, I'm going to add by dragging and dropping it into the into the storyboard and um, okay I'll just do I'll just go with swipe swipe right so I've named it and then you've got a pop-up menu here and it's swipe right uh, with one touch so it's a single finger um, what you have to do is we need we need to associate it with the view which is receiving the touch event so I'll control click and point the view at here and select so if I control click on here it shows that this is, re this is gesture recognizer is referenced by the view which is what we need now the sec now that we've done that we need the view controller to respond when the, the the swipe right is recognized so I'll go up click on the little icon there which is show assistant editor and what that does is it splits the screen so we have the storyboard here and we have the code for the controller over here it's picked that as being the, the most relevant um, code view uh, and I'll just try and make the most of the space so we can see um, so from the gesture I recognize her I'm going to control drag into a free space within the, the main view controller code let go name the method uh, so that's going to be a uh, swipe right I'll just call it swipe R for example and I can change the type to uh, swipe gesture recognizer connect and um, what I'll just do is I'll close the assistant and just so we can see the code better so this is the method that was just added and it's associated with the um, it's linked as an IB outlet to the uh, storyboard so um, once it's recognized this wipe whatever whatever objective C is in here will be executed so just to confirm that uh, is all linked up correctly I'll do an NS log I'll use code completion so press tab key at for a string literal and I'll just put in the message swipe right and so that's just going to log into the console down here if the gesture recognizer worked so I'll run this hoping that it, it, it does work so I'll move that over and we want to watch here and swipe right was recognized if a swipe left does not recognize swipe right is recognized so so that's all working um, so the next step I suppose is that we want to call the JavaScript um, which we already prepared however if you remember part of the part of the puzzle if you like is that the anti-clockwise function and the clockwise function that we want to call is embedded within the, the jQuery closure here so these are like private variables um, and unaccessible to the outside world so I'm going to make a solution to that and go outside the closure and go var app and then I'm going to take the app variable 
and inside the closure at the end I'm just going to reference the global variable um, app equals and the, the name here of the object that has contains those functions so that should give me an external reference to to the to the object so it's going to be app dot clockwise and app dot anti-clockwise are the two function names that I need to to invoke from the objective C so just switch back here um, so it's main web view telling me that that's not right. Mm, I know what's wrong. It's Objective-C, it's self, main web view. Um, string and the code completions getting it for me string by evaluating JavaScript from string and then I'll put in string literal at open inverted commas close inverted commas close the method so what I want to type in here is the um, JavaScript to execute, which is app dot um, go back to remind myself it was um, we'll say clockwise. So hopefully, app dot clockwise. A function in JavaScript and uh, yeah there we go just so we can see that properly so so the invocation is uh, an objective C and open square bracket self main web view and then the method string by evaluating JavaScript from string and the string that's uh, containing the JavaScript is app dot clockwise and then open and close parentheses should with any luck call that method uh, at that point in the code and um, yeah it uh, actually should complete that properly so it'll be any string pointer uh, okay so it's a variable so if this is correct you can pretty much copy paste it and use it uh, as is so it'll be string javascript eval equals and then it's going to return it's going to receive uh, the return from the JavaScript as a string, but really we just want it to basically call the function and execute that. So run the run the script, and we are swiping right, but it's not calling the JavaScript. So we must have a problem. Okay. Um, so it's not working as expected so let's go into Safari on the desktop and go to the develop menu iPhone simulator 
index.html is under the name of the app. So you can see that's the currently active, um, currently active in the simulator. And here's the JavaScript in, okay, so we have the console here, we can tell it as before, but look at the JavaScript there, we can see the nature of the problem. It may be to do with the caching again, the, it's not registered that change. The changed code is not currently there. Um, so as before, we can still do that uh, sort of experiment where um, we send a piece of JavaScript from the console, uh, which does work. So, so this, this process works. So I think from that clue, we need to go back and uh, somehow resolve that problem. Um, it's kind of surprising that it's happened, but let's... So we've saved this file and it's not loading that up. So I think what we'll do is we'll um, first of all stop the simulator, go to product and clean. And so we'll clean the project and force it to rebuild. And we'll see how does that go. And that solved the problem. So, so in general, if you have a problem of that nature, um, you can use the desktop Safari uh, develop menu as your debugger for the JavaScript. You can see your resources there and you can see now it's correct. So, and uh, the solution in this case was in Xcode to clean, perform a clean before uh, rebuilding and running. And um, so despite the difficulty, it's quite satisfying the fact that it actually recognizes the gesture and performs the JavaScript um, that we asked it to do.